At a time when man is the single biggest reason for the loss of precious forests all over the world, it is heartening to see a patch of forest in Puri district preserved and protected by man. This forest on the sprawling Chandrabaga coast on the Puri Konark road is entirely man-made. Tended with great care, love and responsibility by man, this forest is home to a wide variety of animals and plants. The Balukhand Konark Tract was declared a sanctuary under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 in 1984 with the aim of conserving the coastal ecosystem and biodiversity. Spread over an area of 87 square kilometers, this sanctuary has been carved out of reserved and protected forests, the Sar Lake Cut and some government and private land under the Puri Sadar, Gop, Konark and Kakatpur CD blocks in Puri district. Stretching from the Banki River mouth in Puri on the west to Keloni River mouth on the east, the Balukhand Sanctuary runs along the coastline of the Bay of Bengal over a length of 40 kilometers. That is why it is counted among the finest and most enjoyable sanctuaries in the state. The exquisite Balukhand Sanctuary is located by the side of Puri Konark Marine Drive, considered the finest marine drive road in Asia, at a distance of 60 kilometers from the state capital of Bhubaneswar and just 3 kilometers from the world famous heritage town of Puri. Plantation started on the sandy beaches of this sanctuary originating from the outskirts of Puri and stretching nearly 40 kilometers to end beyond Konark in 1980. Kazorina trees are seen abundantly in Balukhand because it grows rapidly on sandy beaches. Besides, cashew, eucalyptus and acacia trees have also been planted in parts of the sanctuary. Neem, Kazorina, Tamarind, Anacardium, Karanja, Polanga have also been planted in this forest created entirely out of plantation. Patches of mangroves are also seen in some pockets, especially in Golara forest block near Keludi river mouth. Located as it is on the coast, the Balukhand forest protects 59 seaside villages and the animals and birds living in the sanctuary. Protection of black buck seen in large numbers in the Kazurina forest of Balukhand was the original aim behind creation of this sanctuary. But now, 
a large number of other animals and birds are also found here. Besides the sizable number of spotted deer, Rhesus monkeys, Hanuman langurs, Indian hare, mongoos, pangolins, rattles, hyenas, jackals, foxes, jungle cats, porcupines, otters and fishing cats are also seen roaming inside the sanctuary. Meadows have been created for the herbivorous animals to provide sufficient food for them. Among the wide range of birds that have made the sanctuary their home are white-bellied sea eagle, brahmini kite, pariah kite, dove, egrets, herons, Indian river tern, seagull, white-breasted water heron, drongo, crow pheasant, spotted owlet, little cormorant, Indian grey hornbill and cattle egret. Reptiles like monitor lizard, chameleon, python, cobra and star tortoise are also found inside these forests. But the most breathtaking sight in the sanctuary is the rare spectacle of olive ridley sea turtles laying eggs on the stretch of the sandy beach from Nuanai to the Devi River mouth all along the coastline bordering the sanctuary. Camps have been set up at various places in the sanctuary for patrolling the beach as part of the effort for protection of the turtles and their eggs. The ecology of the sanctuary situated on the sea beach is largely influenced by the sea. Hundreds of tourists descend here from early November till the last week of February. Besides spending time at the various designated picnic spots, they visit the various places of tourist interest close to the sanctuary. The most frequented among these places are the sites of historical monuments like Beleshwar, Bali Kapleshwar, Ramchandi and the world-famous Konark temple situated close to the sanctuary. Many tourists stay at Saikat Nivas, the forest rest house inside the sanctuary to enjoy the breathtaking sight of the sun rising against the backdrop of the sea at Chandrabhaga early in the morning. Besides, boating facilities have been provided on river Kushabhadra close to the sanctuary where tourists can relish the pleasures of boating in the sea. After creating the necessary facilities for daytime tourism, arrangements have now been put in place for night tourism at Balukhand. An ecotourism center near Nuanai provides night stay facilities for tourists who can spend the night in camps and enjoy the nocturnal ambience of the sanctuary. Only 60 km away from Odisha's state capital, the sanctuary forms one arm of the famous Golden Triangle Tourism Circuit of the state comprising Puri, Konark and Bhubaneswar. The sanctuary can be reached either through the Pipli Nimapada Road from Bhubaneswar or Puri Konark Road after reaching Puri. Once consisting of mounds of sand, this place is now a resplendent lush green forest and it has been made possible by human efforts, by the indomitable spirit and desire of man. But at Balu Khondo, Konark Wildlife Sanctuary, man has created nature here. Come, let us be part of the celebrations.